what's up beautiful people it's in Arama. welcome to the channel today we're going to be checking this video and it's titled to dr jordan peterson as pride month grievances interesting so um this is an interesting conversation and um this has been trending all over on social media so yeah i'm excited to check this one out to hear what jordan peterson i've got to say let's check it out having this interview in pride month and so what are my th my thoughts about pride month well the first thing i would say is that you should be very careful what you name things and pride is not a virtue and i've brought that up with people before and their objection always is well they don't really mean pride people are just trying to affirm their own identities and you know fair enough i suppose to some degree but that was the name that was chosen and that's the name that stuck and pride is a cardinal sin and there's a reason for that and the reason is is that pride means something like stubborn refusal to change when uh. evidence of error is accruing and it's not a good thing there's a real tinge of narcissism sexual narcissism about the whole pride spectacle and you know do people have the right to express their sexuality the way they see fit? Um, to some degree, if it's consensual and among adults, but generally among human beings with any degree of civilized comportment whatsoever, Mala. it's a pretty damn private affair. We tend to yes. be private uh, in our sexual conduct as a species. And so this isn't exactly private. And it's also the case that identities based on something as narrow as sexual desire, let's say, aren't identities at all. They're pronouncements of subjection to instinctual whim. And I also have a real problem with the idea of the LGBT plus, etc. community, because it's not a community. And it's especially not a community right now because the trans pushing, gender affirming butchers and liars primarily target young people whose Children. most likely outcome on the sexual front is homosexuality. So the transgender affirming butchers and liars are differentially destroying the youthful gay community. And that's not a community by any stretch of the imagination. And there's a famous conservative thinker, Chesterton, and Chesterton has a, a, a concept, the fence, and his Chesterton's fence is based on the observation that if you're walking somewhere you don't understand and you come across a fence, you should probably not tear it down because you don't know what it keeps in or out. And the pride movement has torn down a lot of fences and maybe some of those fences needed to go. But all of Well, let's even talk about this because all of this is about their sexuality and whatever they do in their bedroom or whatever they do that's supposed to be private because i don't know any straight person who would go out and about and say oh they want to do one particular style or they want to portray or do whatever they do or their business out in the in public and shove it up on people's faces because i mean if we when if straight people do this is a problem then my question is why now why is the rainbow people doing this it's not making sense honestly it's not because they've gone overboard with this it don't even make sense it's not even helping the uh, helping the entire society because how did we rise to this way that like you have to support their community or you have to support them or you have to see them in their life i've said it before whatever you do nobody freaking cares whatever you go by nobody freaking cares I want to believe that everybody is busy or people are busy and people are not worried about what somebody or what person A does in their bedroom or what person B decide to identify as or go by or whatnot because lots of people have real life issues that they are dealing with. But this honestly is not making sense. And so the point is lots of people's grievances is not the fact that they are shoving this all up your people's faces. Nobody freaking cares. But it's the fact that they do all of this and still like extending it to children like they are forcing this ideology on children which is not making sense my, my like allow children to be children and just enjoy let them enjoy their time being children being kids how about that but well, let's go on those fences needed to go 
but all of them didn't need to go and there's plenty of monsters coming out to play now and i would say that's especially true on the transgender affirming side and that's why we're seeing this butchery oh. in the medical community abetted by idiot allies and driven by greed and those aren't the worst monsters that exist and so if you tear down enough fences you're going to find out what they're for now i read recently like this week that support for gay marriage is plummeting right it's like well keep pushing keep pushing you're going to lose everything you've gained and i'm not celebrating that at all that's not the point at all but like i'm just done with it i don't like the flag i think it's a piece of idiocy i don't understand why it changes every <laughs> bloody week i don't know who makes those decisions i don't like the acronym and all the mystery surrounding it i don't like the fact that the lgbt agenda whatever that is increasingly dominates the school system i don't like the fact that it's targeted okay. at young people and i think the surgery the gender affirming care movement i think it is nazi auschwitz level awful that they should not only stop and now as they've decided to do in the UK and in most places in Europe but i think all the people that were involved in the surgical transition of minors should be imprisoned so there's a lot of house cleaning uh. to do on the pride side of things and i don't believe that a celebration of an identity that encapsulates something like 3% of the population before it became a fad is is inclusive in any manner whatsoever so i think all of it's pretty much all of it's a lie and it's a dangerous lie and it's a lie with real monsters hovering on the edges mm -hmm. and so and like enough as far as i'm concerned enough enough pride in the churches enough pride in the bloody banks i don't want to walk into the bank of nova scotia and be celebrating <sighs> pride it's like i want to go and put my money in or take my money out without any political idiocy and certainly without any celebration exactly. of sexuality i don't know what the hell the banks think they're doing and the churches well that's just for the churches to be flying pride flags it's like pride is the cardinal christian sin right so what the hell what's going on with the flags exactly what exactly, yeah, exactly. are you celebrating here tolerance it's like yeah tolerance of vice is not a virtue and pride is a vice at this point my exact thought is why how is it that now is now enforced on people you go somewhere you see it you see the flag you like it's not all over everywhere and yet they're saying they are inclusive they want people to be uh, to hear them but no that is not how it's done i don't think anybody who is who fought for something enforced it on people but this is like oh you have to accept them and you don't have a choice it's not making sense honestly at this point the rate at which they are going you are beginning to wonder like to what game is this i thought the essence or the entire essence was that they wanted people to hear them but of course they are they still are the ones that will cry and say people who don't hear them or people are, are against them but they are the exact same one that are forcing things on people because let's just be honest we live in a society where everybody have free um, have their right to do whatever they want to do but this one is like no this is by force and they're forcing it on people i've said it before like everybody is allowed to think whatever they want to think without you forcing people to see things the way you see things or the way you do and also people should learn that regardless people would say something and you would go it's not going to be the way you expected it it's not going to be sometimes it's not going to be nice and sometimes you're not going to uh, be agree with people on something and that is how life is but the fact that people want to force things the things on people don't make sense and let's even talk about the political side or political um aspect of it the fact that if people want to see you want you to also uh, believe in their belief their religious belief political stance whatever like it has to it is not making sense with all of this that this pride people are doing how honestly i don't even understand this mission this mission right here is not making sense gone are the days before when you see rainbow you will be excited and you say oh um this is like god um, remember the noah the um the promise god made to noah without well, not ending the world therefore using rainbow as a sign of peace but now if you see rainbow also you will pick your leg and you, you will use your leg to count your teeth 
because you are not understanding like what is going on everywhere is rainbow 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 this one that one uh -uh. What you put you calm down Kwano. it's honestly it's not making sense and i understand where um, dr jordan peterson is coming from because at this point lots of people are actually tired and people are people don't want to say it because of they're afraid of cancel culture and stuff but honestly lots of people have their grievances that, about it but they don't want to share share it because they don't want issues with some particular group of people and these are the exact same people that say they are oppressed but they are the ones that are oppressing people they have the loudest voice and everything like how is it that people don't understand that everybody have got their opinion and would see the things the way they see it without them seeing the things the way you would see it it's not by force but they are forcing it on people is not making sense honestly it is not i understand lots of people's grievances checking this video but again if everybody have right and uh, everybody have got their thoughts and opinion regardless because that is the way they say things you're not going to force people to come see things the way you do and dr jordan peterson is also right from the way he see things regardless this is dr jordan peterson's opinion you may or may not agree completely with everything he said and that is the way things are you're not you're not going to like everything everybody say and the exact same in people will not like or fully agree with everything you say let's also know that in this entire society we can agree to disagree and move on completely without forcing or shoving our ideas on people's throats but let me know what you think about this i'm sure tons of people have interesting things to share i would really love you to share that you can share the useful information you think might be really helpful make sure to like comment and subscribe and all of that stuff and until next time see you in the next video